Well, after having done that last one, uh, I'm feeling pretty good about this one. And I, I hope you are too. Here we go. So I'll distribute this 4x squared into the other, well, x squared. So 4x squared times x squared will give us 4 times x to the power 4 now. And distributing it into this other one, so plus 4x squared times negative 2y squared. And that would give us a negative 8x squared y squared. Next up, we got this negative 5y squared times x squared. And that would just give us a negative 5y squared x squared. But some of you really want to write this in alphabetical order, and that's okay too. X squared, Y squared. And the reason why we can switch those two around is because of the commutative property of multiplication. Not that anyone cares. But now we got a negative 5 Y squared times negative 2, dang it, Y squared. So hopefully that's okay. Well, that gives us... 5 times negative 5 times negative 2 is a positive 10. And I've got y's, and I've got these two and these two, so 4 of those. And we do have like terms to combine on this one. That's very nice. None of which are 4x to the power of 4 or 10y to the power of 4. That's better. But when we combine these two, we're still going to have x squared, y squared. Uh, but we got negative 8 minus 5, negative 13, and that would be positive 10, y to the fourth. All of these ones have the same degree, so that'll be fine.